What is up, my camera crew? We are back here with another DaVinci Resolve 18 tutorial. The new beta 2 is out and it is ready for download. So I'll have a link in the description. If you haven't downloaded or updated your DaVinci Resolve, click the link, update it so you can get this new insane feature that we're gonna go over today. But first, if you guys are new to this channel, my name is Sam Aldrich. AKA Sam the Cameraman. If you haven't already become part of the camera crew, make sure you guys are subscribing, following along, share these with all your, these videos with all your editing friends. Let's take over the world with DaVinci Resolve because who wants Adobe anymore? Anyway, so let's get back into the beta 2. It also has the object mask feature in this and just playing around with it a little bit. Let me tell you guys, this is absolutely insane. It is going to take masking and color grading and just compositing everything that you want to do with just masking. It literally takes it to an, the like a whole new level, makes it so simple. It literally just craps on uh, After Effects' Roto brush. Like this is way better. Um, if anybody's ever used like Runaway ML, this is actually very similar to that, almost better. And I think it's only going to continue to get better. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get into DaVinci Resolve. Um, you can see I have a clip here of a guy who is walking. Just push play. We're going to mask him out. And then we have this car and we're going to mask the car out. So when you have your clips in your timeline, all you have to do now is come to the color tab and you want to make sure you're under your mask, your magic mask tab, which is this right here. Just click on that. We don't need our clips up right now and we don't need our effects up right now or our gallery. So we'll just zoom in here. And what we want to do is start at the beginning of our clip. And you know what? Actually, we're going to come right here. And you want to just make sure, see where it says magic mask object. Right here, you can hover over, it says object mask, person mask. Make sure your object mask is selected. Make sure you're on the plus and just draw on the object that you want to mask out. And just, I mean, look at that. Whole, like, come on. Like, yeah, it's not perfect right here. And we could play with like blurring the edges and, um, you know, clip your black clipping and uh, radius. We can bring that in. There's a lot of fine tuning down here and we can go better for the quality. We're going to just go faster for the uh, purpose of this tutorial. And uh, so like use these tools down here, like your denoise. If you're doing color grading, you're going to want to bring that up. However, let's reset that because it's just going to slow us down on this tutorial. But these will help you fine tune your selection. Now what we want to do is we want to just hit this track forward to back. I mean, and look at how insane this is. Like, come on. Are you kidding me? I mean, in order to do this before, we would be sitting here hours and hours and hours on end just doing like some like ragdoll uh, rotoscoping, like do the leg, do the head. This is absolutely game changing. So now if we just played it forward, I mean, look at that. Perfect. And obviously we didn't get the beginning, um, but we can, if we wanted to, we could just come here and let's track backwards. Now from here, the options are absolutely endless. So let's say we just wanted to cut him out. I know it's like, what a lot of people are probably going to want to do. So let's go add alpha output. Just drag it on here. Nothing happens here. But if we come back to the edit page, just like that, we have him cut out. And is it perfect? Like I said, it's not. But in a matter of seconds, it's that close. I mean, come on, show me another piece of software that can do this good of a job. After Effects ain't on this level. Come on now. Adobe's got a long way to go. And uh, you can just continue to uh, fine tune that if you wanted. And uh, the nice thing about this tool is it's going to allow you to create color separation. Like, I mean, it's going to allow you to select backgrounds and select your objects and just, you know, if you want to desaturate your object, you want to saturate it more. We could come over here. If we invert our selection, turn off this mask overlay. And if you, want, if you don't see the mask overlay, all you have to do is hover over this. It says toggle mask overlay. That's going to show you what your selection is. And this is how you invert your selection. So we want to invert it. Now, if we just desaturated and we just turn that off. I mean, actually, no, we want to turn the mask over there. Look at that. Just like that. Our guy is now 
saturated and the background is not. So the power of this tool is absolutely insane. Like it helps you highlight objects. You can cut objects out. I mean, it is the object mask. But anyways, let's go to our next clip and just try it out right here on this vehicle. Same thing. Let's make sure we're in the object mask mode. We are. We're going to just draw on our car because we want to mask out this whole entire car because why not? Make sure our alpha overlay is on. Again, it's not completely perfect. It would take some fine tuning. If you want to cut anything out, like if you've selected things that you don't want selected, you just hit the minus and just draw a little line right where you don't want it. And it will just delete it. As you can see, we don't want right there. And boom. Now all we got to do is, and here's your stroke. So if you want to delete a stroke, we can delete stroke four if we wanted. We'll go command Z. And now let's just track this forward and back. And look at that. I mean, with reflections on the window, we got lens flares coming in with some like dust coming off the road. And this is staying this clean of a mask. I mean, anyone who's done compositing is going to love this tool because it is going to take compositing or any kind of rotoscoping to a whole new level. I mean, it's like, come on, like it doesn't get any better. So let's invert it again. We're going to stop it and uh, it hasn't tracked the whole thing, but for the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to just, you know, play with it the way it is. Let's make the background blue. Boom. Look at that. Turn that down. Just make it just moody. I mean, anything you want to do, we can do it. Desaturate it. We want to add an alpha output. We can cut it out. Come back here. Let's make sure we connect the alpha output. And let's invert. And now, if we really wanted to, we can come down to generators. Solid color. Let's just change this. Just be weird. Be funky. And look at that. Boom. And just like that, we have this cutout put on a blue background. Obviously, you probably wouldn't want to do that. I mean, you can do whatever you want. The point of it being is that this tool is incredibly, incredibly, incredibly powerful. So, I mean, that's just the basics of the object mask. I mean, DaVinci Resolve 18 is literally next level. They're doing things that no, I mean, other softwares are trying to do, but they're putting it all into one. So I think that, uh, and if anyone else is with me on this, DaVinci Resolve is definitely the future. Everything they're doing is they're crushing it. I love everything about them. If you guys uh, are pumped with DaVinci Resolve 18, the beta, let me know what you, uh, you know, how, what, what's your favorite thing about DaVinci Resolve 18 um, and we can cover it. But let me know in the comments what you guys think about the object mask. Uh, post some links to your guys' work or how you use it. We'd love to see it. And uh, uh, anyways, you know, thank you guys for the all the love that you've been giving me on my latest videos. It has been cool to see this channel like blowing up. And uh, I want to hit that 10K before August. We're going to do some serious giveaways. So let's hit 10K by August. Giveaways, meetups. I mean, it doesn't end there. We're going to just keep it going. So I love all you guys. And I'm going to catch you in the next one.